Welcome back to Take Apart. In today's video, I'll show you how to connect and use CO2 or carbon dioxide sensor with Flipper Zero. CO2 sensor is MHZ19 and it costs around 15 bucks. Product links are in description below. Tacky looking sensor with lots of terminals, but we will use only three terminals. Sensor's silver case is plastic, an opening for air is filtered by some kind of fiber cloth. We will connect PWM, ground and VN. We will need wires and terminals. I'll use this rail with terminals already spaced out. It perfectly fits my flipper zero. It needs to be connected to 5 volts pin number 1, A6 pin number 3 and ground pin number 8. I'll strip terminals from my sensor. While I do so, you should subscribe or else your sensor won't be delivered. And also make sure to check my playlist full of different modules for Flipper Zero. I have covered most of modules for Flipper Zero. Now here is naked MHZ19 CO2 sensor. I would like it to have it right here. So let's start soldering wires to the sensor and to the terminals. Recently I made changes to my membership. So if you feel like a million dollars today and willing to support me, feel free to join and buy me a coffee or a beer. You can also check other options there. Alright, once all finished up, we can test run it. First thing first, turn off flipper and connect MHZ19 module. Let's turn it back on and go apps, then GPIO and look for MHZ19 CO2 sensor. Here we did connect it right and there are two measuring ranges. So boom, it is working. CO2 level is at 200 or 500 depending on measuring range. Well, I don't know if this sensor can sense a fart, but I did release the sneaky one just a second ago. Yeah, anyway, let's turn the flipper off and start the 5D printer. I designed this super housing slash base for MHZ19 sensor and it took me literally 62 seconds to print it out. I know it looks like jizz, but, but it does work. I will mark ground and positive terminals and also sensor itself. Now it's time for final test. Oh yeah, the sensor looks perfect. Let's see, it does take a while for first reading to appear. Here we go. Here you can see orange light blinking inside every two seconds. That seems like a refresh rate. The sensor is fun to build and use. Definitely deserves a place in my collection. Thanks for watching and see you next time.